Hey, and welcome to the Average Joe Cooking Show. Today, we are doing something that I think is gonna be a little bit of fun. It's an experiment. Uh, we came up with an idea of stuffed peppers, but we decided to go Southwestern, Mexican, Tex-Mex with them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff them with uh, chorizo and queso fresco, and we're using these nice Anaheim peppers. Stick around, should be fun. Okay, guys, last episode we did tacos, and I don't know why, but it got me on this kick of Mexican and Tex-Mex and Southwestern foods. Uh, we were talking about doing a stuffed pepper episode, and I started thinking immediately, oh, let's do a kind of a Southwestern. And so we're going to use these nice Anaheim peppers, and we're going to stuff them with chorizo and some nice queso fresco. I hope I'm saying that right. And a little bit of red onion. Now, it's a very, very simple recipe. Doesn't require a lot. Uh, so for garnish, we're also going to deep fry some flour tortillas, and we're going to uh, use lime and avocados for sides. So let's go ahead and get started with some of the more important stuff, like getting the peppers and the onions chopped up. I've got my oil coming up to temperature right now. I gotta keep an eye on it, because you don't want it to get any higher than 350 degrees. That's your, your frying temperature you want to use. So let me go ahead and chop up this onion. You want to do it nice and fine because it's going to be in a, in a mixture of cheese and chorizo. Some people call it chorizo. And you don't need the whole onion. I'm only using half an onion, and I probably won't even use all the half of the onion. Yeah. And of course, the onion's gonna fall apart on me, so chop that up. And that's actually gonna be plenty. I'll slide that. Now, this is an experiment. We're experimenting together. So if it comes out good, great. If it doesn't, well, you know, maybe there's something we can do better next time. But the whole idea about cooking is to use your imagination and try new things out. So we're gonna try this out. Now, we're gonna stuff these, and because they're not like bell peppers, we can't put them on their ends. We're gonna lay them on their sides. So what I'm trying to do is figure out which way this is gonna lay best, and it looks like that's the way it's gonna lay best. So, I'm gonna start on the back end, and I'm just gonna slice right across the top, just like so. And you can save that, chop that up, and add it into the mixture if you want. Um, I'm gonna need a small spoon. You know what, actually one of these little cheese knives will be just fine. Because all I want to do is get these seeds out of here. There we go. And you got to be careful cleaning these out because they'll, they'll split. There we go. Okay. There's one. You know what? I'm going to bring this over here. Okay. So let's. I like that. Now, if you don't have a cheese knife, you know, you can use a butter knife or whatever. Uh, just something that you can get in here and kind of work with. Small teaspoon will work too. Just be careful because like I said, you don't want to end up splitting this. Now, once this has been stuffed, 
we're going to go ahead and put them in the oven for just about maybe 10-15 minutes just to soften up the pepper itself. And we're going to put it in a 350 oven because once the ingredients, I mean the ingredients are going to be cooked inside of it anyway. So you want the pepper to still have a little bit of crispness to it. Crispness, not Christmas. All right, so while we're waiting on that, let's bring this pan up the temp. We're getting pretty close. We're at 250 right now. Don't walk away from that. All right, let's see here. Some of these you might have to tear open just a little bit more. All right, that one looks good enough. So let's move on to the last one here. And believe it or not, that's where most of the heat from peppers come from, if it's a hot pepper. It's not just the seeds, but it's the membrane on the inside. So if you're ever deciding that you want to use jalapenos for something, but you don't want them too hot and they're fresh, you just cut them in half, and if you can zoom in real quick, that membrane right there, if you remove as much of that membrane as possible, you're gonna remove about 90% of the heat, and it'll be a nice, mild jalapeno after that. Of course, these aren't jalapenos, these are Anaheim's, but I'm just explaining that peppers are hot. pan nice and hot and you know what we are at temperature for our tortillas so I'm gonna turn you down just a minute because I want to show you guys this this is really cool uh, nice little side dish something fun it only takes like seconds to do if you've ever had a decent taco salad you know that the bowl is edible it's made out of a flour tortilla well basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut these into strips and uh, kind of mingle them together, deep fry them so when they come out, there's just this nice little bundle of chips you can break off and eat. So if you have a knife, you can slice them into strips, but remember what I told you about multitasking? It's not just for pizza. All right, there we go. Now, like I said, you just kind of want to tangle them all up together, like so. Okay. Put them into a nice, like, loose ball. And then we're just going to dump them in there. It only takes a second or two. Better have some paper towels to put these on. over just till they're a nice little golden it doesn't take more than about maybe I don't know uh, 30 seconds at the most these are very delicious on their own they're really great as a side because they're super easy to make and delicious a few more in and you can do a, a bunch of them really fast obviously there we go see how they puff up that's pretty cool here. Let's try this. I 
I kind of twist them up in some sort of interesting shape. Let's see what happens. Don't get your fingers too close. Oh well, that didn't work. Still, they're gonna taste great. that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and crispy. A little bit tender on the inside. Oh, that is good. Okay, back to this. Got the chorizo. What we've got here is, how many ounces is this? Uh, I'm going to say this is about a half a pound. Half a pound. Okay, so chorizo when you cook it is a lot. There's a lot of oil in it, so you're gonna have to drain this in the sink, or I, I'd actually drain it in your sink because there's, like I said, there's a lot of oil. So, and I'm doing this on my vegetable board. Nice. Okay. One. Woo! Smoke. Let that pan get too hot. That's all right, it'll calm down here in a second. Now you can see, look at all that oil, it's just coming right off of that. So we're going to want to drain this once it's cooked a little bit. Now I've asked, I've had people ask me, well what exactly is chorizo? Chorizo, you know, Spanish sausage, Mexican sausage, whatever you want to call it. And the best thing I can tell you is that it's good. Just leave it at that, don't ask any more questions. It's just good. Because if you found out what was in it, you might not want to eat it. But it's delicious. I know what's in it and I still eat it. But yeah, you can see, look at, that's like almost 50% oil. That's why you have to get about two or three of those uh, little tubes of chorizo is because once this drains, it's going to be half the amount. So let's go ahead and we're going to put this in a colander and we're going to drain it for a few minutes and it'll also give it a chance to cool. There we go. All right. Now, let me, give me a few minutes to clean up this mess and we'll be right back to start stuffing these peppers. All right, now that we've got things cleaned up a little bit here, turn off the burners. Uh, I'm gonna put the oven on 350. And now we get to start our mixture. I've let the chorizo drain. And now you can see that there's not much left of that. It's most, like I said, it was mostly oil. I've got some queso fresco here, which is basically just a Mexican cheese. It's so delicious. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more queso fresco in there just because I like my stuff cheesy.
Now, I don't know if you've ever had queso fresco guys out there in TV land, but it has a little bit of uh, liquid in the packaging. That's just the way, and it's totally fine. Don't, don't stress out about it. But basically, queso fresco crumbles. You see that? And the best way to describe it is almost like a, kind of has a parmesan -y taste, or not parmesan, mozzarella taste to it, but it also kind of tastes like super dry cottage cheese. So you just want to break it up nice. There we go. That should be enough. Yeah, just a little bit more. Why not? You can never have too much cheese. All right, let me wash my mitts real quick. So, so far we've got some red onion, about a quarter of a large red onion. We've got two packages, two half pound packages of chorizo, and we've got a 12 ounces of queso fresco. And now we're going to mix this up. Let's, oh, there's my spoon. <laughs> Just gonna stir it up. Yeah, you kind of want the, the cheese to be the, the majority of this. The chorizo is just kind of like an added, uh, added flavor. So I'm gonna actually add a little bit more queso to that. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this package. So that's two 12 ounce packages, by the way, that I've used. And again with the mitts. There we go. Well, that looks delicious. Okay. Let's start stuffing some peppers. I'm gonna use a small, small spoon. Now, uh, if you want to, try using our little uh, Ziploc bag, pastry bag technique you can. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use a spoon because I really don't wanna smush any more of that cheese than it already is because I want it to remain kind of chunky. Not to mention you have uncooked onion in there and so it might cause clogs when you're... Oh, look at that chunk of cheese there. There we go. Let's see here. Be careful spreading this apart because like I said, I don't want the pepper to crack. to mound up a little bit over the top. Kind of gives it that overstuffed look. Very delicious. All right. There's one. We got four, three more to do, and we'll put them in the oven. Oh, something else that I forgot to mention. Uh, there are different types of chorizo out there. Uh, I'm using the beef. There's also pork. And in some, I don't know, weird vegetarian 
depths of hell kind of place. They actually make it out of soy. But I'm not a vegetarian, so <laughs> I, I like to give them crap. I respect them. That's their, that's their choice, but sorry, I'm a meat eater. some stuffing left over. All right, so we know we could do probably about, I'm gonna say eight, eight of these with this amount. So now you know if you're gonna try this recipe at home, go ahead and use the amounts that we talk about, but instead of four Anaheim peppers, grab eight. Nice long ones too, not the short stubby ones. You'll kind of figure it out as you go along. Sometimes you'll have more, sometimes you'll have less. If you have some more stuffing, you don't have to throw it away. You can very easily save it. You know, something I thought might actually be good is if I do have quite a bit of leftovers, I'm gonna try them on my eggs in the morning and make an omelet out of it. Mm, love that stuff. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Let me get my pan out. to 15 minutes in the oven, 350. While they're cooking, I'm gonna move on to the little sides here. Let's move that out of the way. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Now, I love myself some avocado, so any chance I get to have some, I'm gonna use it. I think we talked about uh, last time, what I like to do is on my BLTs, I put slices of avocado on them. You just run your knife all the way around, trying to stay in line. Give it a twist. twist, just like that. Once that's been done, slice it even further. Now you notice that I didn't go all the way through that because that's actually the intention. I just want to slice the meat. I don't want to slice the skin because the skin I'm going to peel off, just like so. Just off a plate. those for right now. Put a few of these on the plate. There we go. My math was off. All right. So now the limes, very, very important. These are nice soft limes. I know they're going to be good and juicy. I like the skins. They're good. It means they're going to have a lot of moisture in the skin. And clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. There we go. Now, if you have a microplaner, and if you know what a microplaner is, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, use it. If not, you get yourself a nice little grater with the smallest holes possible. And you're going to grade some 
lime zest. Not a lot. Works better with a microplaner. You're wondering what I'm doing with all this lime zest. It's a garnish for peppers when they come out of the oven. There we go. So we've got some lime zest ready to go when those come out of the oven. Come on back in about 10 minutes. We'll be ready to go. All right, there we go. We are ready. Oh, that looks good. There we go. Just gonna set these right here. Oh, perfect. Nice and warm. Crispy still, that's the important thing. All right, now. Move the lemon zest, or le sorry, lime zest. And let's not let the lime go to waste. Now, this is an experiment. So, obviously I don't like to experiment on someone besides myself. Because I don't like people to taste bad food and know it came from me. So, I'm gonna give this a try. And I'll tell you guys honestly what I think. I don't like to brag, but that's good. That's really good. A lot of heat, but not too overpowering. Really, really cheesy. That queso fresca is perfect in it. The chorizo gives it that nice little punch with the heat. And you've got these nice little fried tortilla strips to munch on. And of course, the avocado. I encourage you, highly encourage you, try this recipe out. You won't be disappointed. Come back next time, we'll do something else. We'd like to thank Weinegers for sponsoring us and sponsoring the food that you're seeing here cooked. And uh, we hope you have a good day. Happy eating. Mm -hmm.